Welcome to the Mosque Cathedral in Cordoba, Spain, a beautiful building built in the late 8th century as a mosque. This building was a mosque until the late 13th century, almost 500 years, but it is notable for its arches and architecture. It became a cathedral in the late 13th century, about 1265 AD, and was converted, at least in the center portion, to look more like a traditional cathedral. And it is pulchritudinous. been looking forward to coming to this place for many years. As a photographer, videographer now, I'm getting better, trust me, but as a photographer, my skills have been expanding and I couldn't help but be overjoyed with coming to this place with its beautiful arches, which caught my eye in every picture I saw. But the thing I noticed was the blend of architectures. Now, there's definitely Moorish influences, but even here, this is a very Catholic-looking area in the center of the building. From outside, you might not notice or be aware that there's something beautiful just inside the walls. It is not your typical Catholic cathedral. It is typical in its indoor architecture, but its outdoor architecture is very... I'm not going to say plain, but it's it's unassuming. When you get inside the building, there are so many places to take pictures, so many different angles to take. It's not just the arches. But I say that, and then the arches have me falling in love with them because they look like they go on forever. Now, this building is not so big that it doesn't have a beginning and an end to it but the way the arches are placed and so meticulously put into place it looks like they could expand forever depending on the angle you get the picture from and that is key to taking the right pictures because you get the sense it goes on and on and on the lighting was amazing. The sun would come through, and this is my beautiful wife, Valerie. The sun comes through in certain angles. It just provides such great lighting, as long as you take the picture in the right spot. And that's what this is, the picture I love the most. There are a lot of people there, but you can, if you catch it at the right time of day, catch it without people in your pictures. So. My recommendation to you is go visit and then take your time. If you want to get a good picture, if you want something you can hang on your wall, then this is where you can do it. Or if you just like what I did, that's me, then go to Art by Adventure and make a couple purchases. These will be there. <laughs>